channel message. People who've been through a lot can feel the least and the most at the same time. This is because they have had to carve out a large space inside to hold all of their grief and trauma, but simultaneously closed it off to remain safe from having to relive all of those hard emotions. By feeling anything, it opens up the gateway to all those grief and trauma emotions that are often so dark it's hard to breathe. Those of us who have acquired so much that it's like a pot boiling over might tend to deflect, use humor or sarcasm in order to mask their pain. They might even come off as callous at times. This is a protection mechanism and a way to cope with the pain. Not until you fully address that wounding will you be able to access all of your other emotions and even your true creative essence. So this is for anybody who maybe feels like they're unlocking some deeper parts of themselves right now. Maybe having to face some things that they didn't really want to look at right now. Maybe some stuff you've been putting off for a really long time but you're being encouraged to dive into those emotions because it's on the other side of those emotions that your true creative essence lies, that you're a true power. Ooh, I felt that one. <clears throat> it's where your true power lies. You will not really fully understand who you are, who you are meant to be, what you're capable of, if you do not move through those emotions. And I understand it's a large, it's a big ask especially to those of us who've been through a lot. Um, but just know that you weren't put through any of that for nothing. You were put through all of that to access a deeper part of yourself, to access that warrior within you. And you're not alone in the traversing through those difficult emotions. It's when we tap into ourselves, into the earth, into the universe, God, source, whatever you want to call it, that we find that strength to move through um, a season of difficulty and come out the other side stronger and more resilient and more brilliant and more beautiful. So if you're being called, you know, to come a little closer to God, to come a little closer to yourself, it's probably going to lead you to some dark places at first. But on the other side of those dark places is a beautiful, bountiful garden full of lush, you know, just whatever it is that you want to see in your life. It's fertile, you know? It's abundant, and it's it's your destiny. You just have to get there. And in order to get there, you have to walk through some darkness. So if you're walking through darkness right now, just know that this is what a lot of us are being called to do at this time. You're definitely not alone in this is support if you need it I can be a support for you if you want I offer mentorship I offer coaching self-love coaching counseling and spiritual guidance to those that might need it right now so please feel free to reach out to me if you're if you are feeling called to any of those things but either way know that this is part of the path there's nothing wrong this is it this is the path you're doing great. Keep going.